All right, guys, I'm back. We're still up in here at Tuckahoe. I'm debating whether to uh, cut in or go down this hill and go up the other one. I think I may this time. Let's we'll see what, how it looks. I'll go down and check it out a little bit. I'm liking these hollies, this canopy right here. It's really cool. Um, I may just go down, straight on down. I might, I don't know. Let's see how it turns out. God, if I don't fall over and break my neck first. This is pretty neat. They have fencing all up through here something's definitely been all up in here rooting around I find this hill very interesting how all these these trees are down I mean of course yeah they're downhill but they're all from the base from the trunk out of the ground a majority about 95% of them at least anyway Seeing something up there. I don't know what that is. I see something right there. Uh, I don't know what that is. I can't tell from here, but right there, that, that dark spot. Of course, I'm zoomed all the way in, like always. Um. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go down through this bottom here and go up the other hill where I was just pointing to. Um, let's see. Of course, something's been doing the same thing, traveling this. I'm seeing some breaks. This is a steep hill. It's almost straight up. I should go around, but then it takes me further down. I'm, I, I'm trying to stay up. I know I've been saying it, saying it, saying it, but I'm trying to stay up on top here as best I can. Oh, I just stepped in a hole. I hope you guys enjoying your Sunday. I hope I'm not boring you to death with my, with my, uh, my little walk. Today. God, look at these trees uprooted from the base, from the trunk. Man, look at that. Another one. It's crazy. Look how this one is twisted around. Look at that. Back down to the ground. Wow, wow. Man, you talk about. Look at all these breaks through over there and. All right, let me go around. It's a lot of little saplings right through here. I'm trying to get to where I can get between these maybe and go around. I don't know if I can. Looks like they've got this blocked off. Look how big that tree is. It's almost, it's as tall as I am. That is a big white oak. That's probably the biggest white oak I've seen in quite some time. I mean, that is a monster. Both of them. I don't know how to get around. I'll go up this way, maybe. See. And I smell that smell again. I'm telling you, I'm trailing something or something's trailing me. One or the other. And there's fence right here. Okay. Like regular fence. Not fencing like they do. Let me see. Sorry for moving the camera all around. I'm just trying to maneuver to get around here. I found a path here. I'm gonna try to follow it out and get back on the other side there. Okay, yeah. There's blue over there. What is that, a tarp? I see something blue over there. All right, hopefully this takes me right around back out to the field edge and I can get into that other side it looks like it does yep let me see what's the best way to go out of here I think this way maybe so many bull briars so many briars it's crazy 
I don't want to get them on my neck. Oh. Okay, sorry guys. Wow, this is it just goes on and on and on. And it looks like it's getting better and better though. The further we, the further we get back here, the better it gets. Seems like it anyway. I gotta keep track of where I'm at. I guess that as long as I don't leave this field, I can always just come back to the field. So far, I've seen a couple things that I haven't pointed out to you guys. And then I have pointed out just a few moments ago, but I, uh, I haven't seen too much, too many things that are really suspect other than the structures. I, in other words, I haven't seen anything really, I haven't caught anything peeking at me yet, but I do know something's watching me. I can feel that plain as day. You know what? I think I'm gonna walk this around. Where did I see that? There it is. They're growing trees over there through the woods in that other field. And you see the white rose. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sneak around here and see what we can find. Look at these sticks sticking up and leaning against this. That right there, I don't care what anybody says, that is them doing that. Now, which which one of them? I don't I can't I can't say. I don't know. But it could be the big or the little, you know what I mean? Um I don't know. Now that that is a wet meadow down in there. That's for sure. That's, that's wet. I see how thick the grass is. And it looks like it's starting to be marsh reeds, I guess. And it's very well that, because see, the Tuckahoe had a lot of waterways um, along it. So it's very possible that we're starting to ease up on a waterway. It, I'm seeing so many structures. I don't know which way to look, which way to investigate uh, you know to which what to check out first ooh you hear that hear that bird that's usually a sign that something's walking through there or I've been playing something that way and then blue state Talking like that, they're pissed because something's invading their space. Usually it's deer. I used to always compare that to deer or associate it with deer. Squirrel den. I guess it's a squirrel den. It might be a. Could be almost anything kind of den. There are so many paths up and down through this hill. I, and here we are at another crossroad, another finger. It's just one finger right after another. But there's, look at that tree going uphill over there that fell on that hillside. Look at that, the whole trunk and everything out of the ground. And it's going uphill, not downhill. And it's a monster, a monster of a tree, a good 10 to 12 cord tree. If you were to split it up for firewood. Old ground X. Look at this area clean, cleaned up. This is wild. I mean, trees are falling. They're fresh too. Those trees just fell. Those trees haven't been long fell. That one. That one. Look how fresh that dirt is. I don't know if that's a beech or a sycamore. It could be a sycamore. I, I'm not 100%. Um, I don't want to 
to go that way any further because I, I just noticed that this finger goes deep back up to the field I was walking in this way. Being so late in the afternoon, I don't want to get turned around. I, I am prepared. I do have everything I need if I was to get stuck out here tonight. Um, I don't see that happening. I know how to get to, to Route 50. Um, if I have to, but that, see how far up that, that finger goes and around? One of those is a woodpecker, and the other one is suspect. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Are you kidding me? Maybe it's all three of them are woodpeckers. If it is, there are some busy woodpeckers right here just in this 150-yard radius. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I found that to be really, look at that, look at that fresh break right there. Whoa, I just seen, wait a minute. That could have been a deer, I don't know. Up there, I just seen something dark flash. Like it, it, it just walked past, walked through the greens. That, through there. Maybe it was going out to the field, I don't know. Maybe I got it up, I don't know. I caught it at the corner of my eye, though. All right. I tell you what, it's it's warmed up now. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. I got Gore-Tex on, and that's not ideal for doing a lot of walking. Or I don't feel because I sweat in Gore-Tex. Really easy, but I was cold when I got here as I was complaining to you guys. But uh, now it's warmed up. I wish I didn't have this heavy coat on, but I can't leave it anywhere, obviously. All right, I'm gonna get up out of here and go around this field a little bit further because I can't go all that, that finger is deep, I can't cross it. That's one thing about this place I've learned so far you're not just gonna. You're not going to walk through a finger, cross a finger, and go down one hill and up another because, I mean, it is, it is, uh, some big, big hills through here. Bigger than what I'm used to. Well, I almost fell again. I need to see what time it is. Oh, I can't. Not like that, I can't. It don't matter. I'm good. I hope this isn't too boring for you guys. I know you guys are used to... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't say that, but more action. More things. More... We, we, we're, you know, I, I, I know I shouldn't say that at all because I know once I get home and go through everything is when you really see the things that you don't see when you're in here. There's another kill. Um, no head, which I'm starting to, I mean, I know I, I, I'm telling you that they carry the heads off, but usually I can find the heads within the kill zone in the area. But uh, there's a feather. I'm not gonna pick it up because it looks kind of gross. Um, I almost always find the head though, and now I'm starting to, I'm starting to find that to be a little suspect that the head isn't around here anywhere. And, uh, but like I said, they could have drug it off in just a little thicket, an area that I haven't looked at, but generally they don't drag them far, just, 
just far enough where they can have it to themselves, you know what I mean? Whatever's, whatever wants it or whatever's eating it. Man, I tell you what, whatever is traveling, I see deer tracks. So, I mean, I know there's deer, a lot of these are deer paths, but they are well traveled. So, I was on, I was on YouTube for a little bit yesterday, I don't know what time it was, during the day, but anyway, um, I was just poking around a little bit, checking different people's pages out, and, you know, looking at different research, evidence, whatever, and I came across this one researcher's page, and... Like I said, I, I, I shouldn't even bring it up. I shouldn't even say anything because that's not what I do. But I thought it was kind of funny, actually. Um, and I've noticed this about this researcher a lot lately. Well, more and more. He said, he said, uh, you guys that get on air and... Wait a minute, guys. I just seen something take off. Oh, I see what it is. Never mind. Um, like two or three birds that are not. Um, he said, uh, he said, you guys that are just starting out, this new generation, or, you know, you guys that, that really don't get content. That's how he said it. Uh, you know, you're, you're too suspect when you say, all right, like I do. Uh, all right, guys, hit that like, subscribe, and share. He's like, you know, if you really were getting real content and you weren't stealing everybody else's content and and actually finding things in the woods, uh, you wouldn't have to say, all right, hit that like, subscribe, and share. And I just started laughing. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. And like I said, you know, hey, each to their own. If that's his opinion, that's fine. That's cool. I'm all right with it. But I, like I said, I, I found it to be funny, really funny, because, you know, I'm looking at myself and going, well, I don't take anybody's, you know, maybe I took it personal, I don't know, but I thought it was funny, though, for the most part, for, for actually, period, I, it was funny to me, you know, you take some people, they don't know how to take that, don't get pissed, you know, and say, well, screw you, you know, but I didn't take it like that. I, I started laughing. I said, I, I don't take anybody's content. I don't, you know, I don't copy anything and put it back out and call it mine. And I, when I see something, I just point it out. I don't, I don't hold anybody down and go, you're going to believe this because that's what it was. You know, no. I point, I point it out and then I leave it to everyone else to decide whether they want to look at it further closely or say yay or nay and that's what my page is there for my channel's there for i i'm not going to do i said this before 100 times i'm not going to delete you because you're saying oh you asshole excuse my french oh you asshole uh you're such a liar and that's not what that is hey i'm all about it if that's the way you feel and you want to discuss it or you're going to try to you want to come on and break me down and, and try to prove me wrong it's not to me it's not about being proved or well take that back yes it is it's i'm i'm doing this research to help bring light to the truth and bring as much truth out as i can because i know what's out here and just about all of you if not all of you know what's out here um i feel like all of my subs know you know 100 percent. but there's there's a few that'll just without watching the five minute to hour video will cut it off mid stride and go i don't see anything uh, this guy's he's on crack or he's you know he must be high or you know so and i invite that I know you think you guys think I'm nuts for uh, for inviting it because at the same time I have said that I don't want to be around 
any negative negativity, which I don't, but I am willing to stand toe to toe with someone just to show that I'm not looking for con to do this for content or for subs or you know everybody of course they want subs they want the they want the the people behind them to push the truth I agree to that I'll admit to that but I'm not doing it just so oh so I, I can become famous or I don't want that um but what I am, I will do, I will sit down with you and show you what I see. And if you still don't get it, then I, I mean, eventually the way I look at it is you have to be in the right mindset and you have to be vibing right in order to get a majority of the things that's out here. And with that being said, look at that big pile of hair. It's deer hair, but... I don't know if it's from that kill because I'm directly across. Well, no, I'm a long ways. That kill is over that way and it's really deep over here. So this is probably another kill. Um, nevertheless, I'll come back to it, but nevertheless, that's the sixth one. I've only pointed out, I think, two or three. Now that's four, but I've seen six kills since I've been here today. And it's got me scratching my chin and my head. <laughs> Whatever you want to say. However you say it. There's another one of those limbs marking the outside of the path. That one's a little bit different. It's got a piece of bark left on it. Sorry, I didn't know I had my screen zoomed in. Um, yeah. So with that being said, I'm not going to spend too much time on the negative. But I just thought that was funny that that researcher said that. Um, hey, man, I, I'm not knocking him. Because who I'm talking about... He, he's he's up there and you know he's he's brought a lot of truth and light to the to this uh field this subject so and i don't think i'll ever achieve what he's achieved in this this field and that's not what i'm you know that's not why i'm saying anything i'm saying it because i just felt that that wasn't the thing to say or it's not true you can say what you want but i don't think that that's so much I don't think it's too accurate. Yeah. Is, are there people out here doing exactly what he said? Yes, absolutely. I see it on a daily. But is it is it 30 to 60% of these new subscribe? I mean, new uh, researchers? No, I don't think so. I think you got... I think there's like a 1 to 3%. And that's, that's still calling it a lot. I mean, that's a lot. I think that you have a very small select few that are uh, doing exactly what he said. And granted, I don't know what that was, but it just dropped beside me pretty heavy. It went blump, blump. I don't know if you guys heard that. almost like it was tossed at me but there's nothing behind me that could have where it could have i mean i don't know anyway wow this this is a deep deep valley i thought the other side was deep let me see if i can get somewhere to show you guys off the edge of it this is crazy this i'm starting to get in an area that i feel like is more where we want to be to research i mean they've got this heavily fenced off i don't know what else how to say it but it's super suspect through here and i and i mean they've got it they've got it fenced off to where you've got a you've only got a small window to travel through and that is deep let me see if i can show you a little bit it drops off. I mean, it is, that's some big, big woods and valley right there. Just by itself. Without adding anything to it, I mean, it's that nice. Where you don't have to talk it up. I mean, it is huge. Yep, and there's the water right there. I knew it. I knew I was getting close when I seen that bottom back there. I don't know. It's hard, probably hard for you guys to see, but. You look straight out there 
There's the water. It very well could be the Y River. I think I'm pretty close. Well, not pretty close, but I'm close enough to where you can see it. This whole hillside has been like almost cleaned. Like it could have been the wind. The wind could have blew a lot of the leaves off the way this hill's positioned. But look at how this bottom is. And you know my theory to waterways. That's where everything takes place. My personal opinion, my experiences. Guys, you're not gonna believe this. I just, not those two bird whistles. I just had a whistle and it was over there on the other side, right? See that other hill? Bear with me guys because I want to do some I want to do some looking around here really take my time this is where I've been trying to get to the whole time now I might not stay here very long but I definitely want to check things out and I'm already seeing something but I got to try to do this reach out as far as I can up in there and up it ain't work I'm seeing a big big set of eyes across there up on that hill right there there's something up in there, that's for sure. And guys, if this is for the new subscribers, I know it's from time to time, video to video, it, a lot of people have a hard time hearing me when I'm talking on video. I just suggest that you put some earbuds in or because I don't do it on purpose. Um, I get so zoned in on what I'm doing that I forget and I start I have a terrible habit at, I start whispering <laughs> it's the craziest thing almost like I'm I'm sneaking but yet I know they know I'm there you know they know before I get there so but I apologize I wanted to put that out now and let you guys know for the new the new folks um, uh, I, I get I tend to get really really quiet when I'm when I'm talking and I, I do for the most part I don't realize it realize I'm doing it and I know a lot of people they've told me they just put earbuds in they hear me fine and then others either don't have access to them or and I just want to let you know that I don't do it on purpose I do the best I can out here. It's this is a challenging but exciting field to be in to begin with. And my heart is deep, super deep into this this field. And I get super involved when I'm out here. And um, like I said, I don't I don't do it on purpose. I'm trying to look around a little bit, guys, because what's that saying? All eyes on me. That's what I feel right now. It's like I walked out, like I opened a curtain and stepped out on stage. That's what it felt like when I come down this hill. I don't know how good they are. That's something else I wanted to tell you guys. I don't know how good they are, but I ordered one of those $40 uh, smartphone lenses. It, it clips over your phone lens, and then you can zoom with it. You can dial it. It's a little, it's like two inches long, about the size of a quarter, it looks like. Maybe a nickel, I don't know. Um, I ordered one. It said it would be here this week. It said three to seven days, and I was looking in uh, reviews. Everybody said they got it less than three days. So um, it's just it's just another another tool to add to the arsenal for us to research with. You're not gonna believe this. I got. 
got something walking in front of me heavy. I'm gonna kneel down, guys. I'm sorry if I'm whispering. Bear with me. Where in the hell is it at? Where it's right in front of me, but I can't find it. I don't want to move because I don't know where it's at. I'm not kidding, it's big. I'm hearing some heavy, heavy footsteps. I am not joking. I can't find it. Whatever it is, it's got the bird going crazy. And birds are flying out steadily. I don't know if it's in those pines over there or if it's down here in these. But see, this is this is real heavy trees, sapling, in that marsh. I'm like 40 feet up on a hill, and I can't tell where the where the, the footsteps are coming from. It's walking again. sounded like it sounded like it got up and walked away from me but when it did it was crunching I mean it was crunching and of course I was running my mouth like always you hear all them birds it's, it's got everything in an uproar across this meadow where I'm pointing to that is a big big set of pines right there in front of me goes way down I'm gonna try to stand up and get a better zoom on things I got a feeling that it's right in front of me though Just heard a whistle. I'm hearing breaks, snaps. It's walking. Tell you something. Um, I generally, I never, I never jump the gun on what I'm hearing without seeing. But I'm gonna tell you something. This is super suspect. The steps are just too heavy. And I, I, I'm not going to say no more than that. 
I, I don't, I feel like a dummy at 30 deer if I'm stampeding out across in front of me. No, I wouldn't. It's all the same. It is what it is. But, whatever it is, it's going a little bit and then it stops. It goes a little bit and then it stops. Sorry guys, I'm I'm trying to look outside of the camera besides in the camera. I, I just got this feeling something staring at me. And it's really hard to spot anything in this gray. And I've caught a lot of stuff in these in this bright gray uh, colors like this, areas that are real thick like this. It never fails. I just feel like I got whatever it was. It walked away from me. I definitely got that feeling. I mean, it was so loud right here in front of me. I just couldn't tell if it was on the hill or in this bottom when it first started. I still hear it. sounds like just big strides like I'm trying to imagine it in my head maybe that's not the right thing but that's what I'm hearing whatever it is it's got that bird going crazy back there can't tell where it's coming from. It is steadily walking. This is driving me crazy. I'm trying to look in every 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 spot I can. I'm seeing different things, but that's not what I'm suspecting it is. What I'm hearing is something big. That's all I know. It's big, heavy, whatever. All of the above. It sounds like it's right up in that, right up in that area, but I can't tell. It's either there or right here, but I can't tell. It's the only thing about being on a hill, sound travels. It's right in front of me, I hear it even more now. I've spent 40 minutes sitting here, almost. Apologize, guys. I got something going on in front of me, though, that I don't think is a deer. I 
don't want to move. I wish I could whistle. <laughs> I hate to cut this video off and come back on, but I may have to, I'm at 40 minutes. Because I don't know how long I'm going to be here, waiting to see what comes out, or even if it does. I'm going to cut this off and come back on, and I'll do a... Part two of the heavy footsteps. All right, guys. If you see anything down in here, since I've been just sitting here staring in one area, time stamp it and we'll share it. We'll talk about it.